are not just for adults. There are many performances for kids. In this episode, I'd like to introduce four kid-friendly musicals. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. Yes, here's the Disney musical full of magic, Aladdin. The theatrical version of Aladdin started much earlier than the latest movie directed by Guy Ritchie starring real actors and actresses, and it's already a success. Well, as you could imagine, the magic on stage is not as stunning as the visual effect in live-action remake movie, but hearing the live music really made up for it. Plus, the setting and the costumes are incredibly deaf, which allows the audience to experience the ancient Arabic life and culture. A little spoiler, the magic carpet. Can you feel the love tonight? Have you watched the 1994 Disney animation Lion King? Well, the stage version is as good as the film. With music by Elton John and lyrics by Tim Rice, there are so many popular music pieces that made it the top earning title in box office history even more than Phantom of the Opera. Here are some fun facts about the Lion King musical. Many of the animals in the production are actors in costume using extra tools. For example, the giraffes are portrayed by actors walking on stilts. The Tenem character is one of the hardest roles to master because the movement of the puppet's head and arms puts a string on the actor's arm, back, and neck. Let it go! Let it go! The Disney animation Frozen was such a hit that when I was in kindergarten, most girls dressed up like Elsa in every party. But is the musical as good as the movie? Well, after I watched it last summer in Broadway, my answer is yes. We all know Dorothy from the wonderful Wizard of Oz. But Wicked is really about another one. The Wicked Witch of the West. The story is about the school time before the green skin witch became wicked and the friendship of the two girls. The shy, smart, and talented Alphaba, looking for love and respect. And the beautiful and popular girl Glinda, who was everything Alphaba was not. The two could easily become rivals, but instead, they form a unique friendship. Wicked is a story of good versus evil, and how good can triumph over evil. It tells us to get along with people, even if you are talented or good looking. 